need to calculate uh, average waiting time and average turnaround time for the given problem. First of all, we need to draw the NAT chart. NAT chart is based on arrival time. Here, arrival time of P1 is 0. So, P1 will be allocated for execution. And it will uh, continue its execution until next process arrives. That is, P2 arrives at 15 nanosecond. Uh, remaining time is 5. Remaining time for P1 is 5. And the next process is uh, 25. With the burst time of 25. Among 25 and 5, P1 is the smallest. So, remaining shortest time is P1. So, P1 will be selected again for execution. It will continue execution and it finishes execution to 0. Now, the next process uh, that is uh, P2 arrive at uh, the arrival time 15. It will uh, execute up to next process that is P3. Now, during this uh, P2 completed 10 nanosecond and remaining time is 15. P3 arrived among P2 and P3. Uh, the remaining time of P3, uh, P2 is 15 and the uh, uh, time for P3 is, bus time for P3 is 10. Among 15 and 10, P3 is the shortest. So, P3 will be selected for execution. So, P3 is uh, selected for execution. Now, P3 will continue to execution and, and uh, it's completed tux and it finishes execution. Now, uh, among P2 is there, uh, uh, P2 is there. So, P2 will start its execution because arrival time of P4 is 45. So, among uh, P2 will uh, continue its execution. P2 will continue up to 45. And uh, during this period, uh, remaining time for P2 is 10. And the remaining time for P4 is 15. So, P2 uh, will select again. P2 is selected again. And it will continue uh, total execution time. That is uh, up to 10. 45 plus 10 equal 55. So, it is uh, completed. Now, P4 is there. Uh, the only process. So, it will uh, finish its execution up to 55 plus 15 equal to 70. Position of P1 is 20. P2 completed 55. And P3 completed P3 as 40. P4 completed 70. And 70 minus 45 is 25. And waiting time is uh, turnaround time minus bus time. 20 minus 20 is 0. 40 minus 25 15. 10 minus 10 is 0. 25 minus 15 10. So, average turnaround time is 20 uh, plus uh, 40 plus 10 plus 25 divided by 4 number of process. That is equal to 23.75. There is no unit is given. So, we can consider any unit. That is, it can be nanosecond or millisecond. Average waiting time is 10, uh, 0 plus 15 plus 0 plus 10 divided by 4. That is equal to 6.25.